How's it going out there today, guys? So, pretty exciting episode today because I normally do reviews on camera gear, camera accessories, but my wife and I went into the phone store the other day. She needed a new phone in a great and mighty way, and I've been hearing a lot of chatter about the iPhone 11 Pro. I tried to resist it, I wanted to resist it, but at the end of the day, I am now an iPhone 11 Pro owner. And this is significant because normally I don't advocate for mobile shooting when it comes to my video work. I love my Fuji X-T3. I use it for everything from YouTube to weddings to Instagram. I want to prove a couple of things to myself or disprove a couple of things uh, if I can. Number one, I want to see can the iPhone 11 Pro help me get content out faster, get it out more consistently, while still retaining the quality that I like from my X-T3. And secondly, if it's not for me, I do want to talk about who this thing can be for, because I know it's packed with features when it comes to video, and I do feel like it has its place. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop on into it. Okay guys, so the first test that I wanna do is really a vlog style test to see how the iPhone compares to the Fuji. Obviously it's gonna be lighter, it's gonna be more efficient as far as the phone, you just pull it out of your pocket and it's ready to go. Uh, with the Fuji, you have to assemble it, put the lens on, the mic on, battery grip, and then put it on a monopod or whatever stabilization device you wanna use. Um, I feel like if the iPhone can harbor the same image quality, it would make it more effective for me when it comes to posting to Instagram Facebook, things like that, mobile. Because right now with the Fuji, I have to pull my SD card, transfer it into my iPad or into my computer, throw it on a timeline before I can even do anything with it. However, if the iPhone does have the same quality, um, I can shoot my content, post it immediately, it's ready to go. But I do like the look that the Fuji has. Once again, that's gonna be the ultimate test for me is image quality because lightness wise or weight wise, the iPhone's obviously gonna have the win there. All right, so now we're on the iPhone 11 Pro. One thing I do want to mention is I'm shooting on the super wide angle lens, which does not utilize the image stabilization. I'm okay with that because on a super wide, you're not going to notice a lot of camera shake anyways, uh, like you would with a normal lens that's not stabilized. Um, and kind of like I said with the Fuji when I was vlogging with it, already I can feel the difference in weight. Obviously we have a phone versus a mirrorless camera. I think efficiency wise, the phone's definitely a great option. Uh, once again, and I've repeated it throughout the video, image quality is going to be the big giveaway for me um, can this thing retain the image quality that the fuji has once we throw it into the computer if it can i'm really liking it as an option for mobile content especially instagram facebook what have you i don't think the iphone will ever replace the fuji when it comes to shooting weddings but when it comes to just my personal stuff i do think it'll make my job a whole lot easier when it comes to getting things out fast the next test that i want to do is a slow motion test between the 1080p uh, at 60 frames on the iphone and and the 1080p on the X-T3 uh, at 60 frames as well, just for your normal B-roll style shots, stuff to help fill uh, gaps in videos. Um, and I do a lot of 60 frames too when it comes to Instagram, Facebook, things like that. So I just wanna see the comparison as to how the 11 stacks up when it comes to slow motion. Uh, we'll come back and I'll give my final thoughts. All right guys, so I wanna give my final thoughts on this bad boy right here. Number one, do I feel like the iPhone will replace my X-T3? 
wow, that's a loud helicopter. No, I do not feel like it will replace the X-T3 in certain areas. Now, I do feel like for mobile content, like I've explained throughout the video, I think that it will have its place for Instagram and Facebook to help me get things out quickly, more efficiently, but it will not completely take the place of my X-T3, especially for weddings, especially for YouTube. But who do I feel like it has its place for every time? I believe it has its place for new shooters who are wanting to get content out now. They don't want to fiddle with a camera, with settings, all that good stuff, monitors, lenses, mics. They just want to pull it out of their pocket and go. I believe it's a great tool for that because right out of the phone, it has a great image. There's no work that you have to do to it. Typically on the cameras, I shoot a flat profile, so I'm having to color grade. I'm having to you know, bring colors back that were not there in the uh, original shooting to make the image look good. With this, it looks very decent right out of the phone. But with that being said, let me know what you guys think about the 11 Pro. Is it a tool that you would like to have in your bag? Also, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you.